Hey, a quick video of a Smith & Wesson Victory I picked up at an auction. This is a shorter barrel Victory and we were wondering if it might have been cobbled up. But uh, after I got it, I paid $170 for it. I did a little internet research and found some interesting background on these. You can see that there's no lanyard. The barrel is shorter. Uh, it's parkerized and the gun is mechanically great. A uh, little bit of rust here. Uh, it's parkerized. You can see it doesn't have the factory grips that came with the Victory. Someone changed that, but there's some value in these grips. I'll probably just put a set of pack Myers on it and use this uh, when I'm in the woods and to keep around the house. What I found was it appeared that the barrel was short. You can see that uh, it's crowned. And on this side, uh, I'm not going to play with macro or anything, just giving some information. On this side, it has the, uh, as you can see, the markings on the 38 and CTC. And you can see it's cut because it took off part of the barrel or part of that, it was cut where it took part of that uh, letter off. Uh, my internet research, which I uh, checked different message boards, so I thought I'd just compile the information on this video uh, of everything I learned about why this barrel would be short. Uh, and it appears a lot of these were brought back from what I could tell, were brought back and remarketed and modified a bit to hopefully uh, be more appealing. You can also see that the lanyard is gone. There's the V marking on the serial number, but the lanyard swivel has been removed, which I'm okay with. Uh, after seeing these on the military channel, or military arms channel on YouTube, uh, I made a comment that uh, for an American shooting a uh, handgun with a lanyard swivels kind of like riding a girl's bicycle. There's nothing appealing to it. On this side with some neat markings, one of the other things that appears to have happened was that they converted these to 38 Special. So on the other side it says 38 special with some numbers including pressure per square inch it also has on the cylinder the british markings that you would expect to find on a victory so if you come across a short barreled victory and wonder what the story is uh, whether or not it had blown the barrel out someone did a quick modification uh, I found that there's a neat story, uh, part of the Smith & Wesson Victory story, and that's uh, these units that were brought back to the United States and then modified for resale. So uh, if you see one, pick it up and put it in your collection. This is uh, one that I'm going, since I got it so inexpensively, uh, it's one I'm going to keep when I'm out in the woods and uh, keep around the house and actually put to use. So I hope this answers questions of anyone that's doing a search and wants to uh, uh, solve a mystery of what uh, these short-barreled revolvers are about. 